Loon gang, loon gang. Bruh. This I already know is gonna be an is gonna be an emotional roller coaster. So you're gonna wanna go and get a PG tips, maybe a Yorkshire tea. Let me know which one's better. Uh, and some crumpets in it. Maybe some chicken quesadillas. Because this is gonna be a roller coaster of a ride. It says a particle is projected from a fixed point O with speed V and at an angle of elevation theta. It passes through a point Q, which is at a horizontal distance A from O and a vertical distance H below the level of O. P is then projected from O with speed V and angle of depression 90 minus theta and passes through Q again. Show that this is true and then hence show this is true. Okay, so you know when you see a projectile question that is just words, you know it's going to be peak, isn't it? So make sure you save this video, favorite this video, so that you can keep revising this topic. If you can do this kind of question, uh, for sure you're an expert at the topic. Now obviously we need to draw a diagram. Okay, there's two situations. There's it uh, being projected upwards, angle of elevation, theta. Okay, so we have um, some level, Q. It doesn't say where it is but you know we have some point O and it's being projected like this with a speed V this is theta and it's coming down and you know reaching some point Q which is H below the level yeah so maybe it's, it is elevated not that it matters okay so let's just say it looks like this okay so we're saying that Q is h below but it's a horizontal distance a away okay uh, then in the second situation actually we'll deal with that in a second so here or should we deal with it now well in the second situation it looks exactly the same it looks exactly the same I can make it close here because we're projecting it downwards now so here's my level and we're projecting it down this way, um, where this is 90 minus theta. And then it's, uh, you know, it's going to go down like this. The drawing is not going to be exactly the same as that, but it's going to do that, and it's going to hit Q again, where it's H below. And uh, project it, well, it hits Q again, so this is still A, right? and it's still with a speed V. So these are our two situations. And apparently this is true given that. Okay, so with, the first, with all of them, right, we're just gonna set up our SUVA equations, our distance to speed times time, resolve all the speeds and all that. So this, resolve the speed. There's the ops, V sawing theta, and V cos theta. There's situation one and situation two. Let's just do with situation one for now. So we have the vertical and the horizontal, which we need to consider separately. Now on the vertical, we have SUVAT. And on the horizontal, there's no acceleration, so we do speed times time. Okay. Now, on the vertical, yeah, what is S? Now, Q is H below the level line. Okay, so it's below. This is Y equals zero. So if you're down here, you're below the y equals zero, it's gonna be negative. So this is h below, it's gonna be minus h. Yeah, where we're gonna take upwards to be positive. Yeah, because we're projecting upwards, okay? This one, I might take positive to be downwards because we're projecting downwards. U is v sawing theta. We don't know the velocity at q. Everything's in terms of g, so I'm gonna do minus g. And I'll call this t, yeah, just t. Um, that's going to be the connection between the horizontal. Now on the horizontal, the horizontal distance here is A, is the horizontal speed V cos theta, times capital T. Now it's capital T that we're going to have to eliminate, right? Because there's no T here. So T is A over V cos. Okay. With this, we have S equals UT plus half AT squared. So we have S, so we have minus H, is UT V sine theta 
times t, I'm just going to sub it in now, a over v cos theta. Yeah? So s equals ut plus half of a. Half of a would be minus g over 2 um, t squared, a squared over v squared cos squared. Okay? Hope you guys can see that. Uh, yeah. Cool. Now we can uh, manipulate some stuff. We have the V's cancelling here. We would have minus H is A tan theta minus G A squared over 2 V squared. Now I'm going to do this at the same time. Cos squared in the denominator uh, means uh, sec squared, which is 1 plus tan squared. And I guess that's it. We could just times 2 by minus 1, right? And say h then. I'm going to do that up here because I'm going to need some space. So my first equation is h. So my first equation is h. Is, and for simplicity, I'm, instead of writing tan squared, I'm just going to write t. So we have Gavin, ga, over 2v squared, 1 plus t squared, minus at. Okay. Now let's take a look at this one. Now, we're going to have to resolve that speed, right? Now to resolve that speed... I don't really like using 90 minus theta. If that's 90 minus theta, this is theta. Okay, so this will be V cos and V sine. So it just changes around based on, like the previous one, this was V sine. So things have just switched around. So let's just change all of these um, based on our new information. See what happens, isn't it? Now, because I'm projecting it downwards, I'm going to take downwards to be positive now. So because I'm taking that, this is h below. h below. My speed is v cos. I'm projecting downwards. I don't know what this is. Now, this is just g, yeah, because we're projecting downwards. Now, t, it doesn't really matter here because we're going to eliminate t, but the t value here is going to be different from the t value from before. So I'm going to call it T1 just to be a professional here, isn't it? So D is A, is the horizontal speed V sawing, and then we have T1. So T1 is A over V sawing theta. Okay. Horitio, Fulio. So now we're going to do the same thing. S is U. T uh, yeah, plus half of A, so plus G over 2, T squared, so A squared over V squared sine squared, which is interesting because that won't give us tan squared, right? A squared over V squared sine squared. Okay. In fact, this is starting to give us cot. However, because of what I'm going to be doing afterwards, I ideally want to keep this in terms of tan. So I'm going to say, oh, do I? I guess so. So this would be H is A over tan. Yeah, so you have tan in the denominator. So that's cot, which is 1 over tan. Now this one's an interesting one, something that we don't see too commonly. That's cosec squared which is 1 plus cot squared, right? Now again, I don't want 1 plus cot squared. I'm going to treat that as 1 over tan squared. Okay. So my second equation for h is a over t uh, plus ga, gavin, ga squared over 2v squared 
1 plus 1 over t squared. Okay, now, to get this, you can see that they don't have h, so we're going to equate them and somehow make it look like what they want. So we don't need this anymore, I hope. Famous last words. I think it's just these. I think they basically just want us to do simultaneous equations now. Um, and then they want us to eliminate v squared after. So let's equate them. We have g a squared over 2 v squared, 1 plus t squared minus a t is a over t plus Gavin, 1 plus 1 over t squared. We just have to keep in mind that we are, what are we doing again? I mean, I'm kind of rearranging for v squared here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to rearrange for v squared. Um, the best way to, uh, these look so similar. Should we bring them together? If we bring them together, we can factorize out ga squared over v squared, and then the ones will cancel. So let's do a little swapsie here. So we got Gavin, 1 plus t squared minus Gavin is a over t plus a t. Whoops. 1 plus 1 over t squared. Forgive me, please. So we got Gavin. We can now start factorizing. We have 1 plus t squared, then we're going to minus 1, minus 1 over t squared. Uh, should we just, we could factorize our a, then the a's would cancel. Let's factorize our a. 1 over t plus t. So this would cancel. Should we start bringing everything into one fraction? So I can divide by a on both sides. Uh, sure. So we have Gavin. We have t to the 4 minus 1, t to the 4 minus 1 over t squared is 1 plus t squared over t. Now I'm trying to rearrange for v squared, right? So I guess I times through and then kind of swap these over. So I'm going to times by t, so I get ga. Times by t, I got gat over 2, bring that down, 1 plus t squared uh, times. Now, I already know what's going to happen here. This 1 plus t squared, I can cancel with that by doing some cheeky dots. t squared plus 1, t squared minus 1, all over t squared is v squared. So this cancels, and this t cancels that t, and that 2 can go in. So I get ga now, then I have t squared minus 1 over 2t is v squared. Now that's looking familiar to me, because um, we're doing the double angle ID here. Let's look at the double angle ID for tan. Tan, 2 feta is 2 tan over 1 minus tan squared. This is flipped, so that's cot, right? Ah, that's different though. That looks like it's negative. So cot is 1 minus t squared over 2t. Then when you times both sides by minus 1, you get cot 2 feta is t squared minus 1 over 2t. So I get ga, or minus ga, cot 2 feta. I get minus ga, I get minus ga, cot 2 feta is v squared. Uh, which we then move to one side. I think the question made it equal 0, right? Yeah, there you go, it's proved. So therefore, v squared plus ag cot 2 feta has to be 0. Nice, my. Hence show that this is true. OK, so that comes from, I guess, eliminating v squared now, right? 
So we have v squared, we can just sub it into any of these and then work out what h is and hopefully it simplifies to that. Don't forget tan 2 theta is that. Okay, so that's shown. I'm going to keep this just lurking so that, uh, just double checking this is recorded, mate. Oh, this would have been a catastrophe otherwise. Uh, so now we're going to substitute it back in. I'll do it into the first one. H is ga squared over 2. Now, because it wants it in terms of tan, damn, I got rid of it. <laughs> oh, no. That's so annoying. I wanted to change that back into tan. Oh. Um... That's so annoying, man. Well, before I do anything, I need to rearrange it back so it's this, right? So v squared is ga minus ga times 1 over tan 2 theta, which is the reciprocal of this. So 1 minus t squared over 2t. 1 minus t squared over 2t. 1 minus t squared over 2t, which we multiply the minus in. What was this again? Oh, it was this. Uh, which when you type, put the minus in, we get ga times t squared minus 1 over 2t. So that's v squared. Okay. Okay, so we got ga over 2 lots of this, ag, t squared minus 1 over 2t, 1 plus t squared minus at, at least the 2's cancel, I'm just going to manipulate it here, that t in the denominator is going to come up to the top, so we've got gat back, I also see other cancellations here. Um, the A's, one of the A's are going to cancel. And the G's are going to cancel. Okay, you see that? That's clean right there, mate. So what we got? They both have AT. That's cool because I, I have AT, I guess. Kind of. Not really. What would I be left with? AT... If I take out the AT, I'll have 1 plus T squared over T squared minus 1 minus 1. Now I do my cross multiplication. One plus T squared minus T squared and the double minus becomes plus 1. I get 2 I need this ah oh, I see the t goes in right why am I missing a minus somewhere ah with that t squared minus 1, this ends up becoming minus tan 2 theta. Yeah, you just times by minus 1. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of satisfying. Whoops. And that, my friends, is shown. Using 1, 2, 3... And finally, quattro. So there you go, guys. Very important question, because if you understand the steps, everything else, easy peasy, squeeze the lemon, all right? So if you learned something new today, I'd appreciate if you hit the like button, subscribe for more mass content, favorite this, share it with a mate if you think it'll benefit them, which it will do. So you, you do it, innit? <laughs> if you're interested in my maths courses, link is in the description for more details, and feel free to join the Learn Gang Reddit page if you're gonna submit your own questions and get feedback from either myself or the community. I'll see you in the next video. Nice.